Hey guys, so since the Polydoge DAO launched, it's quickly becoming my favorite staking dApp in the whole of crypto almost. I just love the colors, I love the cartoon style, I love how easy it has been to create passive income so far. And today they have just stepped it up a whole nother level. We're gonna be looking at this because they've done this, if they have created nodes which are being integrated into the tomb fork which they began with, right? It's a little bit complex. So what I'm gonna be doing today in this short video is showing you two things. First, we're gonna have a look at the two tokens which make up this DAO and of course the nodes and how they all work together, right? And then second, what we're gonna look at is if, as an example, if I had $1,000 to invest into the Polydoge DAO, what would I do? So of course, we're gonna get into this video. It's not financial advice. This would be education, entertainment, and I'm basically just telling you what I am doing anyway. Uh, you need to do your own research on this. I'm gonna explain some of the risks involved, of course, as well. So for today's video on the, on nodes, the nodes and the Polydoge DAO. Oh, I'm so excited. Roll it. Welcome back to Crypto Mischief, where I talk about my favorite thing in the entire world. God damn cryptocurrency. That's right. So here we are in Polydoge DAO. Now, I've done a bunch of videos on this, and if you really want to learn the ins and outs of it, I, I suggest you go back into one of the older videos. I think this is my fourth video on the Polydoge DAO, and it's only been out for a short while. The TVL is continuing to rise. We're up to 4 million total locked. It was about 5 million, but we've had a slight correction in the price of Bitcoin, which of course has brought down the market. And we, we're met here with these two tokens, the PDD, the PDS, the gold coin and the purple coin, and everything is working as is, right? The new addition to the site, I'll just show you this, is the node section. So we have home, farms, boardroom, and nodes, and then docs, audit, casino, which we'll look at another day. But the nodes is the, the big addition that we've seen today where we have the PDD dollar node, right? So we purchased this node with our Polydoge dollar. This looks like there may be uh, more room for other nodes in the future from using other tokens, possibly. Not sure about that, but it looks like it. Game would come in here and you'd find your nodes here, right? So we're gonna go through all this. Um, firstly, by just giving a brief overview of the entire ecosystem, because there might be some new guys here. DeFi is all inclusive. Uh, my name's Richie, welcome. <laughs> so let's have a quick look at this presentation I just preferred earlier. All righty then. So here we have the gold coin, the Poly Doge dollar. Currently, the price of Polydoge dollar is about 1.09 Matic because the Polydoge dollar is attempting to continuously peg, be pegged to the price of Matic. The Polydoge DAO is on the Polygon network, so Matic coin, Polygon coin, same thing, right? In this current market that's been going on, uh, Matic is generally just above the price of a dollar. So as you can see, the current price, I took this today, the screenshot, is uh, 1.09 Matic, which is above peg. That's what we call above peg. We earn this Polydoge dollar coin in the boardroom, okay? That's where you can actually earn this token. So it is a farmable token also. You don't just have to buy it off the market, but you can buy it off the market too. And you can also now buy nodes with the Polydoge dollar token. You can pair the Polydoge token with another token, a couple of selections actually we'll have a look later, and then you can pair them in LP on QuickSwap and you can stake it into the farm section on the DAO and then you farm and are rewarded in another token called Polydoge Share, PD Share. And in the future, the Polydoge dollar will be a metaverse currency. It's going to be used in the Polydoge gaming. They have a Quake game, which is going to use Polydoge dollar. They also have MetaPets, which are probably going to, I'm not sure about the, if this is true or not, but I imagine the Polydoge dollar will be important in the MetaPets ecosystem of the metaverse. There is a future of lending and borrowing, which will also be coming. It's on the roadmap for the Polydoge DAO where Polydoge dollar will be, again be a very important asset to own in this. This is the utility of this token. Then the second token that we have is the PDS, the Polydoge share token, the purple coin. We all love it. So this token 
is low supply. As you can see, there are only circulating supply of 6,784 at the moment. This does go up. It is being created in the farm. You're minting it in the farm section. The farm section pays out the Polydot share token. You earn it in the farm. That's all I'm saying. The price of Polydoge share is generally very volatile. Since the Polydoge DAO has come out, it's sat between $150 to $250, basically. It's been the normal price of it, right? But as the TVL of the farm grows, you can very much, very possibly see the price of this have very high moon potential. If you look at other share tokens and other protocols similar to Polydoge DAO, such as Tomb, where the T-share is about $5,000, or Based Finance, where the B share, the equivalent token of their ecosystem, is about $2,000, okay? So it does have potential to go up very high, but it is high risk, right? So the use case for Polydot share, why is it so expensive? Not just because it's a low supply, you can also stake it in the boardroom and earn Polydoge dollar, the boardroom section I showed you. You can earn Polydoge dollar above, when Polydoge dollar is above the peg of Matic at that 1.01 and above, right, above the TWAP, then you get a very high APR. But when the price of Polydoge dollar is below the TWAP, that 1.01 .01 per Matic, then you will also earn, yeah, PDD in the boardroom, but at a much lower APY, or APR, I think it is. APR of, ooh, about 200 to 300%, which is still fantastic, but it's lower. So that's what the purple, sh the purple token gets you more gold token, essentially. You can also pair your purple token and farm for more purple token. Yeah, Pair your PD share and earn more PD share. So in the farm section, you can pair it with Matic and farm for more PD share. In the farm section, you can pair now with also Polydoge dollar. Yeah, Put the two coins together and then farm for more. You can also pair Polydoge share with ETH and farm for more Polydoge share. This has extreme high moon potential, but as I said, it is a riskier asset because again, the Polydoge dollar is supposed to be pegged to Matic. So it's, the idea is that if it's pegged to a blue chip, it will be a much more stable asset. This one is a wild boy. She's crazy. <laughs> so there you have it. These are the two new coins of the ecosystem. Today's new development is nodes. That's right. The nodes cost at the moment is 50 Polydoge dollar to purchase one node. The daily APR for one node is 3% daily. That's right. So you put in 50 PDD, you're going to get 3% daily back on that PDD. Unlimited nodes per account. You can create as many nodes as you want. Decay. The nodes have decay. This node will not last forever like Strongblock. The max return from this node that you will get is 500% return. So that's 50 PDD to go in to purchase the node, then getting back another 250 PDD over 3% daily on that, okay? What happens when you purchase this node is it will lock up the PDD to reduce sell pressure on the token. Because remember, we want PDD, the gold coin, to always be just above peg with Matic. And this is a way of managing to lock away more of this token. The more token that's out of the circulating supply, the easier it will be for it to maintain above the TWAP. The max ROI for the nodes is not guaranteed. This is a risk, right? Because where does the payment come from for the node stakers? It comes from the treasury, right? If there is an issue, there are certain ways in which this can be dealt with. For example, the dev, the developer, has the ability to burn 20% of the node reward pool if needed, which would drastically reduce yeah, the, the stress on the node reward pool. But high risk often comes with high reward. So what have we got there? We have got safe plays and dangerous plays. Stake your PDD with Matic and get rewarded in Polydoge share. Stake your Polydoge share in the boardroom and get rewarded with Polydoge dollar. Or lock up your Polydoge dollar to get nodes to then receive more Polydoge dollar. So sure, I'm sure at the moment your brain is going like this, because my one's been going like this all morning, right? Because with the addition of these nodes into this ecosystem, there are so many potential ways to make money. So I'm going to give you one idea. What I would like you to do, you need to be uh, critical about this. Critical thinking is important for such a complex ecosystem that I'm going to suggest something, right? And then I want you to think about it. 
Yeah. Think about where you are, your risk level. Okay. I've got quite a high risk level, to be honest. Crypto mischief, can you tell? <laughs> but um, and then you need to go back, take a sit down, maybe grab pen, you know, like I did. I've just been scribbling down stuff about thinking about this all, all morning and then get back into it and then figure out your plan. Okay. Have to think this out carefully. And if you think about it carefully enough, there's a much higher chance that you are going to come out of this ecosystem with, a, a, with profit. Yeah, with much profit, sir. So before I get into my Polydoge $1,000 challenge, right? If I had $1,000 to put into the ecosystem, what would I do? I just want to show you where I'm sitting at the moment in the farm. So let's just go through, right? So what I've been doing since it opened is in the farm section, I've been focusing. Now there are a couple things you can do here, right? You can, of course, just, I didn't, I forgot to mention this one, but you can just purchase Poly Doge token, the meme coin, right? The one that started it all. You can also stake this if you do own it and you'll also earn yourself the purple token PD share, right? I'm in here. I'm staking with my Polydoge, some of it, the other, uh, most of it's in Elk Finance, but I do stake in here as well. And you get a nice 0.29% daily on that. Yeah, 100 APR, which is a nice bonus for holding the token. Uh, apart from that, the majority of my bag here is still in the Polydoge dollar Ratmatic pool because I see this as the safest pool for this because, like I said, Polydoge dollar is aiming to always be on price with Matic. And by me staking the LP, I'm also helping the ecosystem. So this is about 2% daily, uh, 2.7, almost 3% daily for this. Uh, so far, I've managed to compound up to about $6,400 in here and I have uh, just under one Polydoge dollar to collect there. So I collect it. Right, I'm gonna put that aside. I'll, I'll deal with it later, okay? I also have staked in the Polydoge share and Ratmatic because, just because I had some more Polydoge share lying around and I get a higher a APR on this. It's 3% on this, 2.7% on this one and 3.6% on this one. So because it's higher, um, I'm, I did put some in here but I've not been building this back. You can also get a 3.4% of Polydoge share in ETH and this new pool, which I'm tempted to go in because it's almost 6% daily here, combining the two assets. But this is quite a hair out. If you are ultimately super confident that this farm is gonna be really successful and both of these assets are gonna fly, or actually this one's gonna stay stable, right? The gold coin's gonna stay stable and the share token's gonna to do really well, then go in this one. But that's the highest risk one here, definitely. This is the big boy pants one. This is a safe one, the big boy pants one. These are experimental for me. So small amounts uh, compared to the other pool. I've only got uh, $1,000 in here. So okay, but going very well. So there's another $40 in here. I don't think I have compounded this since it launched though. So that's the farm section. We then come to the boardroom where you can use your, like I showed you in the presentation, you can use your Polydoge um, you can use your Polydoge share token here. So adding it into the supply, minting you out more Polydoge dollar. So at the moment we are above peg. We are at an APR of 1,767%, which is fantastic. TWAP is above the price of 1.01, .01, so we get a high percentage. If the price of PDD goes below the TWAP, then this APR falls down below. But we always make something in here, which is fantastic. Uh, so yeah, um, so I can add more Polydoge share in here. I can also claim what I get in another epoch, which each epoch is six hours. In two hours, I will get one more mint of Polydoge dollar. So I'll claim that 200 bucks here. When I choose to, I can take the Polydoge share that I've earned and I can deposit it straight into the boardroom, right? And earn a higher amount of Polydoge dollar every day. But um, profit taking, of course, has to be done. And I'm going to show you at the end, like what my profit taking strategy is. But I've just claimed that 151 Polydoge dollar. So then we move into the node section, right? So each node costs you 50 Polydoge dollar per node, as we talked about. As you can see, so far I've purchased 17 nodes, which cost me about $1,000. And I'm looking at getting some more. So I did have their three, um, so in the wallet, you can click here and see what you got. So I have 157 Polydoge dollar here, which means I can buy three more, adding the amount of nodes that I have up to around 20, which is perfect for me. That's the number that I want, I want to have, right? So add three more, purchase those nodes for 150 Polydoge dollar. Because now we have to look at a little bit of quick maths, right? So if, if, right, node is 50 and we get around about 3% daily back on that, okay? Round about. 
that means that each note is going to make you roughly, right, because it will fluctuate this APR between, I guess, 2 and 3%. You're going to be getting about 1 to 1.5 PDD a day per note. So therefore, if you want to create one note a day, which would be an amazing compound experience, right? What's my hair doing? <laughs> Maths. Maths. <laughs> <laughs> then I want because my aim would be with this I want to make a, a note a day yeah a note a day would be fantastic at these prices 50 bucks a note almost 56 dollars a note fantastic lovely stuff so a note a day would be so I think roughly we're going to need between 30 yeah 30 to 35 nodes to be able to make one node every day and from that point if you keep compounding from there or you can compound up to 30 to 35 nodes and it keeps up this daily payout that's you creating a new polydoge node every day or 50 polydoge dollar every day which is nice that's very good passive income just adding to what we're talking about before so as you can see here it says here i've created 20 nodes which is a TVL of $11. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I haven't claimed anything yet from these. It's just sitting here building up. My possible, my max possible payment now from all these nodes is $5,000 polydoge dollar. So that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> so far, 962 nodes have already been made, almost hitting that 1,000 nodes mark. So probably, like, possibly my maths is wrong there. Maths, like, this uh, kind of quick math is not my strong point. Um, so I'm sure other people are going to be making uh, compound calculators from the Polydoge community. You're going to be able to find a lot of information on these and how quickly you'll be able to ROI with them, but also what kind of passive income you can earn from this very important next step, which is going to make this even more like harder to, to fathom, right? That this polydoge dollar that we're earning, you know, you don't really want to sell all of it because what can you do? You can also compound it or you can go back to the farm. Yeah. Then you can pair it up. Then you can earn more of the polydoge share. Yeah. Staking in here, earning more of the polydoge dollar creating more nodes. So there's so many options here on how to get going once you've started compounding, once you start earning a, a larger amount of uh, coins coming from the three locations. So let's get into what I would do if I was gonna come fresh into this system with $1,000. Right, so what I would do is, like I showed you, uh, there was different higher or lower risk uh, entries for this. So if you were a pure DGEN, you could just take $1,000 and buy loads of nodes and then go for it, right? But I'm gonna do a more rounded approach here. So what I do was I would take $1,000 into the Matic space. I would buy around about 600 Polydoge dollar and 400 Matic, roughly, right? We're thinking that uh, the price of Matic is gonna be about $1. If it's $1.30 or $1.20 or $1.10, then we're gonna to have to have more dollars in here, like $1,100, $1,000. You need basically 1,000 Matic, okay, for this to work. So I should have just put 1,000 Matic, but I put $1,000, <laughs> whatever. So it's roughly a grand. So what I do is I'd buy 600 Polydoge dollar and 400 Matic with that, right? Then I'm gonna pair 400 polydoge dollar and 400 matic in quick swap right i'm going to pair them together and make a liquidity token with that that means yeah coming to quick swap or you can simply just come to the home section where you can um buy buy polydoge dollar buy pd share you can add them to your metamask here or even come to the farm section where you want to stake and it will have a button here for provide liquidity. So you can provide liquidity here. It'll take you straight to the providing liquidity page. So super simple there, super simple, right? So then I've got that and I will keep 200 Polydoge dollar aside in my wallet for now. Then I would take that liquidity pair I've just made and I'd stake it in the farm and I would start earning the purple Polydoge share token. Then the Polydoge share token, oh, typo, typo. You see, who, who sees the typo? Let me know, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Stake your Polydoge share in the boardroom, okay, the purple token, put it in the boardroom to earn yourself more Polydoge dollar. So there you've got your 200 Polydoge dollar at the side, you've got staking in the farm, earning the Polydoge share token, and you're com compounding your Polydoge share token into the boardroom to start earning more dollar coin. Then from there, I'd go and I'd buy three or four nodes with my Polydoge dollar. With my 200 Polydoge dollar, I try to get as much as I can, right? Depending on what, what the swap price is for roughly $1,000 or 1,000 Matic, okay? So buy as many nodes as you can with the rest. And you're good, earning you more Polydoge dollar. So you're earning Polydoge dollar from the boardroom and you're earning Polydoge dollar from your nodes and you're also earning Polydoge share from the farm. 
which, bi- which brings me to the end of the presentation of profit and compound. How to profit, because of course we don't just want to keep building in a DAP and never taking profit because we're all here to make money. So what I do and what I recommend everyone does, because this is the gameplay of the Polydoge DAO. We're not in it for a fast buck, we're in it to grow a huge passive income earning generator for months and years to come is the idea, okay? And the way to do that is by all working together with this idea of don't shoot yourself in the foot. If Polydoge dollar is above peg, it's above TWAP, right? It's above the price of 1.01 Matic. That means that the boardroom's gonna be printing an APR of extremely high amount and we're all happy. That's what we all want because we're in this ecosystem, right? So if it is above peg, then that's when we can behave a little bit uh, wildly, right? And we can take profit a little bit cool. Like, and, you know, you can take shit home. You can buy stuff with your crypto. So what I do is when Polydoge dollar is above peg, what I do is I profit 30% of the Polydoge dollar that I earn and I compound 70% of it back in. The farm is lower risk than the nodes. Remember that, okay? If you are risk averse, then probably concentrate more on the farm than the node section. For Polydot share, I also profit 30% from the Polydot share that I earn the farm and I compound 70 and I compound 70% back in. The reason I compound so much back in is one, I want to keep above peg. Two, I want to earn more potential because what you're doing in this farm is as you are in there and if you just claim every day, right, and other people are compounding, they're going to start getting a higher share of the emissions than you and you're going to lose the race. It's always a race, right, to try and see how much you can compound in in a yield farm so that you can get a higher slice of the pie. So that's why I have quite a high compound rate. Actually, it turns out that I'll make way more money in the long term if everything plans out, right? That's the risk there. That's me managing my risk factor. But if it goes below peg, which happens, it will happen again. It's happened before. What I do is I change my mentality completely. I do not sell a single Polydoge dollar. I 100% compound all Polydoge dollar that I'm earning, right? And I sell 25% of my generated purple coin, the Polydoge share, into Polydoge dollar. So I'm buying more Polydoge dollar with my Polydoge share with 25%. I'm compounding 50% of the Polydoge, sh- of the Polydoge share and I'm only selling off 25% of that share token because I need to profit from somewhere, but I'm going to take a small amount of profit there. So actually, while it's above peg, I'm profit taking a little bit more, but when it's below peg, I'm contributing to the ecosystem to make sure that we can get back above peg and print some more money. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Don't sell Polydoge dollar when it's under peg. Yeah, look at this picture. See it? You don't want to be that guy. That looks pretty sore, yeah? So again, don't shoot yourself in the foot. Don't sell PDD when it's under peg. Peace. I've been Crypto Mischief. You've been fantastic. Don't get wrecked. Tell me, tell me how you feel.